There is a girl named Alice. She finds a fish tank on her head, but no one could see. Every time she feels depressed, the water in the fish tank rises above her head and makes her feel drowning. No one but her can fill the tank. Even her parents don't understand her. Sounds strange, right? Yes, it's not common for a girl to carry an invisible fish tank around. But that's how I feel in the past three years. What I said before is the setup for my comic. I feel healing during the process of making this comic. This is the story I want to tell you today. My name is Wendy, a freelance illustrator who lives in New York and studies at, at BNCC. When I was 15, I studied traditional art in high school. I had a pretty strong academic performance in high school and held several art exhibitions. However, life won't always go so easy. I have lost all my goals and felt depressed. My emotions were like turbulence, up and down all the day. No one willing to understand me. They assert this is teenager stuff. Luckily, my therapist encouraged me a lot. She told me to read books about emotions. And learn new positive thinking tricks. Years later, I feel much better, and I decide to go after my dream again. As I mentioned before, in 2020, I created my original comic, Alice's Fish Tank. The story was about Alice, who had an invisible fish tank on her head. I compared depression to an invisible fish tank that someone had to get rid of it. It was based on my own experience. Each time I was depressed, I felt like I was in the water and I couldn't breathe. My friend, who had the same problems as me, cried after reading my comic. She says, "This is what she's going through every day." I post my comic on my social media so more people can view it. People email me and say they they feel healing while reading the comic. I was glad to hear that. At the end of the story, I gave Alice a happy ending. She finds another soul completely depends on her. She feels she saved someone, and she is saved. And I was admitted by BNC to study animation. Finally, I get closer to my dream. I want to use my words to tell people who are going through depression and not to doubt themselves. They are beloved and have the chance to restart whatever happened to them. Also, I want to use my comedy to bring social attention to those people who have mental problems. I know individual power is small, but I want to help everyone as possible I can. This is my story. Thanks for watching. Thank、you